guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet that's me by the way if you're new here my name is jasmine rosette and and today's video is gonna be a couple days of what i eat a couple days of what i eat hmm i'll figure it out in post i'll figure it out in post but it's basically me just showing you guys everything I eat and for a few days so yeah but before we get into today's video I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video subscribe so you can keep it today with me and all the things that I'm doing and comment down below say hi I say hi back and without any further ado let's get into this what I eat in a video what I eat over several days video. I'm gonna figure it out in post. You'll see. <laughs> It is currently, what time is it? 12.30 and I'm gonna eat my lunch. I meal prepped yesterday. Just a few days in advance. Also, I forgot to show that I had an apple like first thing this morning after my walk. So I had that besides the smoothie that you guys saw me make. But yeah, I've just had, just set you down here. I just had quite a bit of meetings today and it's been very productive, but also I'm starving. So I'm going to put together my food and have my lunch. I'm so excited to eat. Uh, one thing that I'm trying to improve for myself is the amount of protein because apparently for me, I don't put enough protein in my food unless I'm having salmon. And with salmon, it's easier because it's like an entire filet. So it's portioned out for me. But when it's like any other source of protein, animal, animal protein, I don't divide things out properly for myself to make sure that I'm having 
pretty equal meal. I didn't make couscous because 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 wow wow I didn't make couscous because I was lazy. So this is just gonna be protein and veggies. Okay, so it is around three o'clock and I am not that hungry. Usually I finish like my last meal around four or five o'clock. I know I'm such an old woman, but I just like, I can't eat late. It truly like messes with my sleep. Weird things that you learn about yourself as you get older, like it's just, bizarre but I am actually very full like to the point where I feel like I I don't need anything else I, I don't need anything else so what I can have because truly I feel so full is kombucha which is you can't even can't even see that here it is i'm having this flavor it's the passion fruit and tangerine i try to have kombucha on a weekly basis so like if i could have it several times a week i do but i constantly have kombucha in my fridge so i will buy like four or five at a time and that will last me a couple weeks because then i at least know for sure i'm going to have two a week a thing about me just to kind of like give further clarification into my life i feel like y'all have probably noticed if you've been watching my videos for a while i don't consume alcohol that often if i do it's with my grandmother because drinking with my grandmother is fun but also, it's like usually when I'm on vacation or like out of town. When I'm home, I'm never really buying alcohol, such as like wine or hard kombucha, because if I do go for uh, alcohol, I like hard cider, I like sour beers, wine, and hard kombucha. That's like my go-to. And then if I'm going for hard liquor, you know, hot toddies in the, in the winter, gin and tonics year round, Mai Tais, like I, I have my go-tos, but like, the past couple years, I have really slowed down a lot on my consumption of alcohol. I personally just don't like the feeling of being drunk, so I never really drink. I never drank a lot anyway. I think there was like one time in my life and it was like at a, my birthday party where I drank a lot, but that was like early 20s. <laughs> Man, I can say early 20s now because she's in her late 20s, y'all. Uh, she's 28. But anyways, yeah. So I just like over the past several years, I've just like consumed less and less and less alcohol. Even when I go out, if I were to order a drink, a lot of times I'm not finishing it. So now I'm kind of just at a point where I'm like, well just don't order it because you're not gonna finish it anyway. Cause I'm a very, if I do order a drink, like an alcoholic beverage, it takes me forever to finish it. Like I do enjoy it, but I'm definitely like a very slow sipper. So let me just open this really quick so I can start drinking my kombucha. Oh, an easy open. I cut my finger, so. I didn't really cut my finger, I like, one of my skin like got caught on something and it like ripped part of my skin you know like on your nails when like parts of this on the side get caught or whatever and it like can rip 
that's essentially what happened. Ooh, the focus. There we go. Okay. So good. Oh, this is a good angle. I really like kombucha. I know it's an acquired taste for a lot of people, but I prefer it. I can taste it better than I can taste sparkling water. But I think this is really, really great. Um, tastes so delicious and refreshing. And yeah, I feel like my alcohol fix is... My alcohol fix is done here. Hold on. But anyways, yeah, I feel like I get my alcohol fix through kombucha. But I enjoy it more, so... And it does, con like, kombucha does have some alcohol in it. So it's like, you know. Oh, my jasmine plant. Gotta be careful. Don't want to knock her over. But yeah, it's a bubbly probiotic tea for happy gut, which is, like, this is my probiotic. Like, instead of me taking a pill form to consume a probiotic, I take it by consumption of drinking and I drink it in kombucha form. So <coughs> I like that. I know it's helping with my gut health, but also like the taste of it and kind of has that like carbonation. So it can help me burp. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the thing. And I love health aid not spawn but i would love to be sponsored by them because i buy like majority of my kombuchas are health aid like nine times out of ten their their flavors are just they're on point they're on point but if you are i think it's 21 and over in the states and you're looking for like hard kombucha, June Shine is a brand that does really good hard kombucha. So it's kombucha that has more alcohol in it. So it's like, you know, has a higher per percentage. And theirs is really, really good. I highly recommend. I'll check in with you guys if I eat anything more, consume anything more. Um, I'm going to a Bible study tonight, so if I have anything there, I'll just show it on my phone. Last time we had like a charcuterie board and had like one of the ladies, her husband like made apple butter from apples that they picked from their neighbor's backyard because they have like an apple tree. And so we had homemade apple butter. And so like we put that on some toast with like goat cheese and then there was like grapes and it was so good. And I was just like, wow, we are really bougie right now. Like I love it. So it's the next day and this morning I have already had several meetings. It's currently 8.55. I have a meeting in five minutes, but I... Last night I did record what I had at Bible study for the dinner or like desserts, but I figured I would just show you. So I had a sweet potato brownie. Wow, that was like great angles. I had a sweet potato brownie. You can see that here. And then I had a muffin uh, and Sweet Bethany, who made these muffins. They're apple cinnamon muffins. So they're like cinnamon, but with made with apple butter. Because she used the apple butter her husband made from last week to make these muffins. So she sent me home with five. So I'm gonna have a muffin for breakfast, along with some green juice, actually. So I'm gonna get that now. Put my super greens in here I will say this is for sure an acquired taste like this stuff 
This stuff, an acquired taste for sure. Probably gonna have two of these. Mm. So good. Eating the second muffin and trying to FaceTime my grandma. <gasps> yep. Yeah, Say hi to the vlog. Hi, I'm at my doctor's. I'm going to my doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to call you to tell you about my budget for the New York City trip. Tell me. Because I'm waiting for the doctor anyway, so I have time. Okay. No, I have time because the lady said, talk, talk to me about my, uh... So I learned they, you, they cut up the chicken and they fry it dry. The girl, that stuff tastes good. It oh. tastes good. I gotta try that. I have, oh, and I'm just by some uh some some uh what do you call it some uh some of that jamaican bun uh. i have to bun i have to buy some bun and i have to buy um the bun and what else and some patty oh some patty yeah oh that's so bad isn't it <laughs> I like a lot of goat cheese. It looks like a lot. It looks like a lot, but it may not be. I don't think it's a lot. Okay, I thought that was going to be a bigger burp, but it wasn't. So, recently, there's been some stuff in the news. I was at, like, a friend's place, like, a month ago. And they were talking about how some areas in Colorado you shouldn't be drinking the water from the tap and i drink tap water by like putting it in my filter and then filtering it out that way but i've noticed the taste of it has been kind of off and then when i saw that on the news saying like hey like there's potential contamination or whatever i was like i'm gonna be careful so what i've been doing is buying like gallon waters from the grocery store but i'm actually going to be going to new york uh to visit family because i haven't seen them in such a long time and i'm very excited so my grandma and i are going so you'll for sure be seeing a video soon of that trip and what we get up to god's willing but yeah, we. Oh, I overwatered that plant. That's why it looks that way. So I can't overwater it going forward. Good to know. But essentially, I have created my grocery list of things that I need. One of them, I have. I follow a recipe online that requires four ripe bananas and i have four ripe bananas so the recipe also calls for like two eggs and vegetable oil and i don't have vegetable oil and i don't have eggs but i have everything else like flour baking soda baking salt not baking salt but salt and vanilla extract cinnamon all that stuff like i have the rest of the recipe i think minus walnuts i'll probably need walnuts and some chocolate chips dark chocolate chips so i'm gonna buy that but i'm also gonna buy some drinking water but yeah i know it's not like the best thing to buy like these huge gallons of plastic water bottles but because there's like contamination in terms of like it could be harmful if you consume it like washing your dishes with it is fine apparently but like you know drinking tap water 
in certain areas is like whatever and now i'm kind of just like i don't own this place that we currently live in and i feel like if i owned my own place then i would be able to really look at the water system and filter things out so i'm not getting contamination in my water and i could feel comfortable drinking from my tap water but until then uh i think i'm gonna stick with that because there's several times where you know tap water is apparently not safe for you to drink and now i'm just like paranoid about it so i kind of wanted to explain that because like i have some from whole foods have some from target when i went and now i'm kind of running low so you'll see that but i'm gonna actually go grocery shopping here in a minute and show you guys what i get from the grocery store i am wanting something sweet so i might eat an apple or some grapes that i have in the fridge grapes but i call them grapes because i think that's fun to say so yeah, I am going to do a little grocery shop haul. I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's just because honestly, it's cheaper. I might stop at Sprouts because they have better produce and better prices for produce. But I don't need too much fresh items because I am leaving next Saturday and today is Thursday. So yeah i don't want to buy like too much fresh stuff and then i'm not able to like eat it because i'm gone for basically a week i'm gone from saturday to the next friday the following friday so yeah i leave in a week in a couple days and i'll be in new york for a week and the difference with this new york trip is that a lot of my trips, I try to stay in a place that has a kitchen so I can cook my food, so I can save money. That's like the cheapest, easiest way for me to make sure that I'm not overspending. But because this place does not have a kitchen, it's like truly a hotel format. Because it's New York, you know, smaller spaces, you know, is, is pretty common for like hotels and stuff like that. So we're getting the pretty, like the basics for this hotel. Um, it's still nice but we just don't have a kitchen which is fine like the whole hotel doesn't have kitchens in their uh place so it's different from like all the other places that i usually stay at because i'll usually try to do like an airbnb or stay in like a villa that has a kitchen but this one doesn't so i've budgeted myself last night and this morning to determine how much i'm able to spend while I'm in New York that's something that I'm like I didn't really do a lot of this entire pandemic but now that I'm in a new place and my new place has a microwave I'm able to meal prep uh, so I'm able to like cook more and feel comfortable cooking instead of feeling like oh it's like a chore to cook um, I can't do meal prep. I can't prep a few days at a time. Like I would have to, at my old place, I would have to like make every meal that day. And sometimes I just, not sometimes, but a lot of times I got into the habit of just like, I'm going to buy food from a restaurant and that adds up. And I wasn't able to like really save money. I would just spend all the money that I had. And so now I'm getting back into budgeting. So it's like, now I'm getting back into the routine of cooking for myself and like meal prepping just a few days um, ahead, not like a week like I used to. And now I'm like, okay, I need to get a hold of my finances. You're 28 years old. You got to get it back in check. Like last year was last year. This year is a new year. Although it's near the end of the year, that's fine. But you got to just like be better about how you spend your money especially if you want your own place uh one day which i definitely do want my own place this is me speaking to myself essentially but i i definitely want to buy my own place whether that's a house or a condo or something like that um but you know with how the market is it is a seller's market right now so everything is 
it's incredibly expensive it's ridiculous and it's just like not really worth it to buy anything like because you're always going to be paying more for what it's actually worth and <sighs> yeah so eventually I want to buy my own place but I'm like okay I got to get back onto saving and building my savings account and you know yeah gotta start doing these adult things you know what i mean man i'll check in with you guys once i come back from the grocery store i'm not there yet to where i can go like bring my camera into the grocery store i feel like in places where people don't know me not that these grocery store people know me but it's just like in new york if i'm going shopping there i feel like yeah I can vlog because they don't know me but here in Colorado I'm just like I have to go to that store again and they might be like why do you have a camera <laughs> I don't know maybe this will be my challenge for myself that I bring you along grocery shopping with me I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it because it sounds hella scary to me so we'll see how it goes <laughs> All right, so I'm heading out now. I am going to have an apple. First need to take the sticker off, so one second. Ooh, there's a new, new single out with Masego. I've been seeing so many triple numbers, uh, triple ones, triple fives, and triple eights. And I was looking at the meanings of them and I was just like, oh, this is really cool. So what I need to get from the store is eggs, vegetable oil, lettuce leaves. So I'm going to make tacos, essentially, but I'm going to use like the head of a lettuce to make them uh, as my shell, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I need a bell pepper, just one, and some salsa so I could have it with the tacos this week just so I can try something new, you know? And then I'm gonna get some ground turkey, organic ground turkey. I might go for um, plant-based protein. I just need to see if they have it. So I actually need to like mark that plant-based protein. And I always just like use my notes app to like write what I need down. I need frozen veggies, uh, I need two packs, and then carrots that are fresh. Fresh fruit, I'm gonna put a maybe next to that because I have some apples. I'll just get a couple fresh fruit actually. I need dried carrot chips, dried beet chips. I don't know if they have dried beet chips at Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna see. I know they have dried carrot chips, so I'm gonna get that for sure. And then plantain chips and dark chocolate and walnuts. So I have everything I need to make banana bread and then stuff that I will need to meal prep for this week because I really want to make it's just basically like the lettuce holds the protein cool so in the car and I don't think I've ever mentioned this but I always like when I go grocery shopping I have my reusable grocery bags and recently I bought these two little bags from Ikea it was like two for five so you get like a smaller one and a bigger one and so yeah i'm gonna use this for my fresh produce to kind of put them in there i want to get another one for protein just because it's nice to separate like protein from the rest of your food just so that in case it leaks it doesn't get all over but i'd want that to be not as like uh loose as those bags are i want it to be like no holes essentially it is hot. Even though it's 50 degrees outside, it is hot in the car. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. 
Kiss the lullaby straight till the morning Oh, how we keep it going This love is only moments, girl And you know I'm carrying the world So I bought these spicy porkless plant-based snack rinds from Trader Joe's. Beautiful. These are proving to be hard to open. Oh, got it. So this is what they look like. Waiting to see when the spice is gonna hit. I would say they're very mild. They're not that spicy. Mm. Actually, the more. Oh, someone ran over. Oh my gosh, I hate that. I don't know. I don't even know the name anymore. Um, someone ran over a squirrel. <laughs> So gross, so gross. I hate that I saw that. But these are pretty mild, so. And I like spice to the point where, I like spice to the point where my nose is dripping, so take my saying that it's mild with a grain of salt, I guess, but it's not that spicy to me. Like it's barely spicy, it's not really staying, it leaves. So I got everything on my list. I forgot to put three things and I put them on, well, one of them I didn't put them on, but two of them I put them on my list as I was getting into Trader Joe's because once I'm in there, if I don't see it on my list, I will forget about it. Um, Sorry, I thought some, some, ugh. sorry, I thought I saw someone. But one of them was the macro bars, the Smooth Sanctuary. I got eight because I need six for every day that I'm going to be in New York. Mm, actually, I don't think I need six. I think I just need five. So I guess I have three extras, but I need macro bars. The Smooth Sanctuary one, which is the double chocolate plus peanut butter chips, is honestly my favorite. It's, it's the best one. I like it the most. It tastes so good. I also said that I needed more Majul dates, but I didn't put that on my list. So I made sure I got some dates in there. 
and some soap. I needed soap because I opened a new bar of soap last night and I needed another one. And yes, I use bar soap. So I just prefer it honestly. And liquid soap, I don't know. It's, it's harder to travel with. Whereas I'm like bar soap, I can easily just put it into like a little container and travel with it and not have to worry about like decanting it. You know what I mean? So yeah, but basically got everything on my list. Oh, and water. Water was the fourth thing, I guess. So I got two, uh, two gallons of water. Oh, um, other things that I got that were not on the list. So I didn't get fresh fruit and I didn't get carrots, but I did get these vegetable chips. And I thought, because I'm getting these vegetable chips and I wanna try these like vegan pork rinds, essentially, uh, which you guys saw me taste test in the car. I was like, I won't get the plantain chips, I won't get the carrot chips, and I won't get the beet chips. And I realized they don't have any more carrot chips, so I guess other Trader Joe's locations have them. And the beet chips, there's these beet crackers that I just assumed were beet chips, I don't know, but they're made with beet powder, so they're not actually made out of beets. So I was just like, I'm not getting those. I'm just gonna get these two. And those will be like my snacks instead of me trying to get like a bunch of fruit. Cause I still have some fruit left over. And if I'm gonna make banana bread, um, I think I'm gonna make a couple loaves so I can like drop it off at some people's houses. But if I have banana bread here, then that will be like my sweet treat instead of me getting ice cream. So, you know, cause I got a dozen eggs cause it's cheaper to get a dozen eggs then get half a dozen at Trader Joe's. It cost the same amount and I was just like, okay. The half a dozen were organic eggs and and the regular, we just got like regular large eggs. So I was like, well, if they're the same price, I'll just get the dozen. And that's what I did. But these are the, I'm doing the romaine hearts. I'm gonna use that as like my taco shell. And I have some salsa. So I will meal prep that next week. And I got this impossible burger made from plants. So I'm not gonna like put it in patty form. I'm just gonna like grind it up basically and have it as like taco stuff. Cause I have taco seasoning, so I'm just gonna use that. And that is my grocery haul. I'm gonna try these vegetable chips. Ooh. So these vegetable chips are a blend of root vegetables. So that's sweet potato, taro, batata, and parsnip. Could be saying that wrong. It's B-A-T-A-T-A. -A -T -A -T -A. Yeah. what it looks like it looks really good I mean it tastes really good and the sweet potato it's right there see
is what I've had the past few days and yeah it's what I've eaten over the past few days the vegan pork rinds that I had or veggie rinds um, as I should probably call them that I got from Trader Joe's they're actually really tasty and I ended up finishing them like late last night while watching Hotel de Luna uh, which is a k-drama that I started um, a few weeks ago and I'm like getting towards the end Ugh. so last night I just was like okay I'm gonna watch several episodes each episode is like an hour a little bit over an hour long but it's so good it's so good they acknowledge I don't know I'm not gonna give it away but if you like k-dramas I, I recommend Hotel de Luna it's funny um, it's serious and there's like a tiny bit of romance um, compared to like other like k-dramas that have that are like rom-com this one is not really focused on rom-com there are funny aspects to it but there's like more drama than anything else but it's it's really good i like it anyways i ended up finishing those veggie rinds they're very flavorful and when i finished the entire bag because i ended up finishing the rest of the bag i was like okay the spice is kind of building up so it is spicy but it's still mild for me but if you eat the entire bag in like one setting which it's not a lot actually it's a pretty small bag like it's like medium size i guess for a bag of chips but yeah it's like it's very flavorful and it gets spicier the more that you eat it but if you're only eating a few like a couple bites it's not spicy to me at least and i like things hella spicy hella spicy but anyways so wanted to catch you up there as you guys saw i made my banana bread came out really good um i haven't tasted it yet but it looks really good and i'm dropping it over uh i'm dropping it off at a couple people's houses that i was like hmm i feel like you might like banana bread why don't i stop by and also it's like a chance for me to see people that i love and care about so yeah trying to get back into baking because i got out of it for a while uh but you know we move but anyways if you made it to the end of this video thank you so 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 much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things i'm doing and comment down below and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i'll see you in the next one bye